Shut up, boy. Bye. Hello. <laughs> this is lesson one. I want to talk to you about what we're going to learn in lesson one. What am I going to learn? Number one, I want you to learn to control the home keys. F, D, S, A, J, K, L, semicolon. Number two, I want you to learn the control of the space bar and the return slash enter key. Take a good look at this picture and notice the finger placement where each key is located. A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon. That's where your fingers are going to be the majority of the time is on the home row. The home row is the row that contains A, S, D, F, G, H, G, J, K, L, and semicolon, as, long, as well as, excuse me, the return key. Sight words. These are the words that you'll need to know for this lesson. QWERTY, that's actually the type of keyboard layout that we're going to learn on this year. Can you look at the picture and find QWERTY? It's there. You'll need to know that. You'll need to know home row, and you'll need to know space bar. I thought it would be just a really good idea to talk about the steps that we're going to do in class. There are eight of them. Step one, you're going to open up Notepad. I'll show you how to do that. Step two, you're going to set the font size to 18 point. Step three, you're going to set the font to Corier New. Why 18 point? Answer, Mr. Partridge's eyes are old. I played too many video games, so please let that be a lesson to you. Don't play too many video games. Get out, enjoy the sunshine, or else you might have bad eyes when you're my age. Anyways, that's why you're going to have 18-point font. Step four, you're going to save the lesson as lesson one underscore first name dot last name dot txt. I'll give you an example of how I would name the file if it was me. Lesson 1 underscore John, capital J, dot Partridge, capital P, dot TXT. And so that's how you're going to save your files this year, your keyboarding files. And so that's what I'd like you to do. We're going to talk about proper curl placement for your fingers on the keyboard. You're going to place them on the home row. Step six, I'm going to give you a typing book that you're going to work in. You're going to open up to page 12, section 1F, and you're going to work on each section from page 12, 13, skip 14, page 15, and 16. You're going to save your file, and then you're going to email it to me at jpartridge at bankofchristian.org. And that's lesson one. God bless you, wherever you are today.